welcome to Emily's Fresh Kitchen. Hello. Hello. Today we're having homestyle chicken and biscuit pot pie with carrots, celery, and fresh thyme. Doo -doo. Producer Patrick <clears throat> is prepping our chicken. And I'm going to start prepping other things. So we have two... Um, cans. I forgot that word. Wow. Hi, Jackie. Two cans of biscuits. There's five in each of these. That's a total of ten. Wow. Math. Power. The power of math. We have time. We have carrots. Uh, hi, Aunt June. I'm not going to argue. I forgot to wash these, but I'm going to peel them, so I don't really care. That's our little secret. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Hi, Bree. All right. <clears throat> so, carrots, celery. Fantastic. We have four packets of flour. We have four packets of chicken stock concentrate. Wow. We have two packets of cream cheese. Mm. We have garlic. I don't have my garlic press. We have an onion. And as I said, carrots and celery. All right, let's get started. Oh, and also I don't have a carrot peeler, the vegetable peeler. Oh man, I thought I was prepared, and guess what? I weren't. That's proper English. And if anyone tells you that it's not, you should listen to them, because they're right. All right, <clears throat> so since I'm clearly not ready for the carrots, or, uh, well, I'm ready for the onion, but I just don't want to do the onion first. I'm gonna start with the celery. And you wanna make sure that all of your vegetables are evenly diced because these need to cook all at the same time, the same rate. And I personally like mine small because I feel like if you have smaller vegetables, you get kind of like the same amount in each bite. And if that's not important to you, then by all means, don't do any of that. However, it's important to me, so I'm going to do it. And I chop them pretty small, and that's not necessarily necessary. <laughs> See what I did there? Necessarily necessary. But that's how I like them. And when you make a pot pie, you do what feels right. I'm going to do what feels right to me. And this is it. All right. <laughs> Does anyone like celery? I love celery, but with peanut butter mostly. Um, I don't, I, I don't mind eating it plain, but I'm not really a fan of plain celery. But I do feel like celery is very filling because it's water-based, and so it, it'll fill you up. It's like watermelon. If you eat a lot of watermelon, it'll fill you up. And I think celery does the same thing. And I could be wrong, and that's okay, but that's my opinion. So anyways... That's how I feel about that. All right, <clears throat> so now that producer Patrick has so kindly brought me my vegetable peeler, which basically is just a carrot peeler because that's about all we peel over here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and peel these carrots. Peel and chop. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
And my friends, you probably don't know this because there's no reason for you to know this, but <clears throat> the very first time that producer Patrick and I went live with our food show was we were making this very meal. Now, oh, well, that would have to mean that I know what I'm doing. And so, also, um, that, after, you know what? I can, as long as there's only four people there, and we have a HelloFresh meal. Uh, but anyways, <laughs> so the first time that we cooked live, this is what we were making. Now, we didn't do the whole thing live because it was my bright idea to go live and we were probably a little more than halfway through um, cooking already. But, and I didn't have, like, I literally was just propped my phone up in the refrigerator door and was just talking. So, not much has changed. Not much. Um, <clears throat> you know, Brie, this is actually an easy recipe. And this is something that I could make on my own, but uh, I just, I don't know. You know, the thing I love about HelloFresh, though, is that it just all comes to my door. I don't like going grocery shopping, and now I don't have to, and that means a lot to me. So I just have to get the few things that, you know, we need that are not from our HelloFresh meals, and that's basically it. And that's how I like to live my life. Because it suits me. I'm glad you believe in me, Brie. I'm very glad. Also, I would have to have producer Patrick with me because I don't know if you know this, but meals don't get made if he's not here, so. He's a... He's kind of important. He's he's a viable part of this process. That's the right word, right? Vital. Huh? Vital. Vital. What does viable mean? That is a word. It is a word. He's vital. It means uh like a kind of like okay. Oh. Like, like just okay. Like you're just you're viable. Like you like. You, you, oh, like you'll do. Like you'll yeah, do. Essentially, yeah. He'll do. Just kidding. He's much more than that. Just getting to the store. I don't want him to. Uh, well, thank you. Well, you have fun at the store. As I said before, I don't do that. But I'm sure that I might still be here when you're done unless you need a, you know, whole lot of things. In which case, I appreciate you stopping on by. Hope to see you again real soon. Uh, he's vital. Producer Patrick is very vital. He's not just vi vi I forgot, viable. I almost forgot the word I even used. I almost said, what did I almost say? Vitamin. Just kidding. Producer Patrick is my daily dose of vitamin L for love, because I love him. Don't laugh at me. They can laugh. They'll laugh for me. And awesome. Yes, he is awesome. He's vitamin A for awesome. Oh, but that's actually a thing. But you know what? Vitamin A for awesome. That's what you are. That's what you are. That's a word. Char. That's what you are. I'm just putting on the trash in this tiny little doohickey bag. Why? You know, because. Why not? That was fun. Did I make it? I made it. Don't worry. I already knew I did. I forgot to get a paper towel for my, for my flanges. I'll be back when I'm done in time. Love you. Oh, good. I love you, too. Have fun. Get all the delicious things. Not all of them. Save some delicious things for other people. I know you will. You're so sweet. Okay. All right. Now, I know that when I, I got carrot on me, I know that when I chop carrots, <clears throat> I usually do it, I'm done with this, sir. I usually do it in a diagonal fashion, and I call them fancy carrots. But today, we are not doing that. We want our carrots to be about the same size as our celery. 
bout. Again, these are very uh, technical terms that you're more than welcome to use yourself. I'm gonna cut these in half. That way my knife isn't having to struggle to get all the way through there. And I like to cut the halves in half so I have a flat surface to work with. Because I don't know if you know this, but flat things are easier to cut than round things because they don't roll. And that's just physics, I'm sure. And if you tell me it's not physics, well then, sure. Say what you want. This isn't physics class. I'm just cooking. I'm just trying to make some dinner. And by that, I mean, producer Patrick is gonna make the things I drop. But anyways, I'm very excited because this meal is super delicious. And also, this is very easy to make at home. And my sister makes, I'm okay. My sister makes it all the time. Uh, okay, I didn't even feel anything, so I was like, I don't think it went all the way to my finger. No worries. My sister makes this all the time without a HelloFresh uh, kit. I shook myself up a bit, but I'm good. I didn't even... I didn't even feel anything hit my finger. I just thought maybe it did, and I just wanted to make sure. Oh, that's a carrot. <laughs> I'm fine. Thank you for the heart. We will not be going to the hospital in this here episode. Uh, plus, I just sharpened my knife. So, let me tell you something. Sharp knives save lives, because had that been dull, I'd have surely been cut. I just know. I just know. I don't know who Shirley is, but I just know. I'd have Shirley been cut. Anyways. Can't make this up, friends. This is live entertainment. Infotainment. That's what I bring to you. Live infotainment. We just lost a carrot. That's okay. The dog will eat it. Maybe. La, 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 la. Producer Patrick, these all go together in the pot at the same time, correct? Yeah. Okay, because I'm just pushing them all together and I don't want to have to separate them out later. Yeah. That would be a pain in the tushy. Producer Patrick, could you please hand me that other knife? I actually don't feel like this one's cutting it. <laughs> Pun not intended, but it works. Thank you, sir. Y'all, I need new knives. Or at least one good new knife. Oh, that's much better. You should not be struggling to cut your vegetables. Your knife should go through them. So, I just need to get my knives sharpened, actually. The problem that I don't like about this one is that the handle is so close to the cutting board that it's like not giving me a lot of finger room, you know what I mean? That's right. I don't know if we have another big knife in there though, do we? <laughs> yes, that's the one I wanted. Let me try it real quick to make sure it's sharp because, <clears throat> yep, this one's good. Thank you, sir. You can just stick that back in there. It's nice and clean. Just kidding. He's washing it.
pretty sure I just heard an unpaid intern say that she, don't call her that, that she was going to sharpen the knives, and I just want to say I appreciate that. Because it's very important when you're cooking. You need some sharp knives. And I was looking at knives online the other day because I thought, if I just get myself one really good knife, that'd be great. But the problem is that <clears throat> I don't really know what I'm looking for. So I just I just left well enough alone and thought, Psh, I'll have to consult the Google later. Consult the, the false prophet Google. Because, you know, not everything you read on the Google is true. So, it's a false prophet. Hello, Janine. I hear a knife sharpening. Do, 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 do. That's so exciting. I feel I don't know about you. Oh, sorry. I had a moment. I thought that was a pretty good song. TBH. everyone's day been? My day has been just full of rainbows, puppies, and sunshine. That's not true. I haven't seen a rainbow, and I don't have a puppy. I have an 11-year-old dog, yeah, we've seen any sunshine today and the either. sun hasn't really been shining, but you know what? It's a great day to have a great day. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And you know what, Producer Patrick? Happy Jesus. Thank you. Happy Jesus. Sometimes, friends, life isn't always hunky-dory, but that's okay. There's always a reason to smile. I do feel it in my hard hearts. There's always a reason to smile. Don't you think, Producer Patrick? Yep. Even if it's a goofy cooking show. Cooking show. I agree. I'm so glad you agree. I'm so glad. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Sometimes the storm clouds come into our life and they try to fog us over. But I say, Psh, not today, devil. Just kidding. Uh, I don't call the storm clouds devil because you know why? They're not. We all need some rain sometimes. It helps us grow. Ooh, I should put down on a shirt. Somebody, I'm going to need you to, what is that called when they have a, that, like, a crochet, someone crochet that on a pillow. Cross stitch, I don't know. I think cross stitch is right. Someone cross stitch that on a pillow. We all need storms to help us grow. Rain clouds, whatever you want to call it. Well, that's not what's supposed to happen. What? It came unscrewed. Oh, the sharpener thing? Yeah, that happened the other day. The knife sharpener is coming unscrewed. The handle from the sharpener part. You know. Such is life. Such is life. So what is everyone else having for dinner? I feel like this is like a home style country meal. Which you could also buy in the freezer section at the store. It's not nearly as delicious. But hey, if you want a pot pie, it'll do. They also have them at KFC, which are more delicious 
than the ones in the freezer. And also, you, I think, get a cookie with it. So, hot dog. Who, who wouldn't want a cookie? Unless you're allergic to cookies. In which case, don't have a cookie. The unpaid in, elder unpaid intern. Don't call her that. Okay. Is having pop pie for dinner. Which is, what a coinky dink. Oh, she's eating here. All right. Cracker Barrel. Oh, why do you always have the thing that sounds so good and I want Cracker Barrel chicken strips? Oh, my, oh my, that sounds delicious. Producer Patrick, wrap it up. We're going to Cracker Barrel. Where's the nearest Cracker Barrel? The nearest Cracker Barrel. Well, we're in we're in Canada, you know, so. We're in Canada, Sydney, Canada, to be exact, which is a place, look it up. It's northeast of Nova Scotia. I looked it up. You know, I found that out because I'm totally here in Canada, eh? When I was in high school, I had a biology teacher who was from Canada, but he lived in America for a very long time. So he never really said A, but uh, one time he showed us a picture of someone, uh, one of the paraprofessional's husbands on a camping trip, and he showed us his picture and he's like, he's tall, eh? And we all started laughing because we'd never heard him say that. And he looked at us and he's like, I said it, didn't I? And that's what I remember. He was a very good teacher and I liked him. And I don't know what his name is, but he was a good teacher and I liked him. And I remember what he looked like, but I don't know what his name was. It's, it's still his name, I'm sure. All right, so we're finally dicing our onions. Well, <clears throat> you know, I don't think I've ever had chicken strips from Cracker Barrel, but the last time I went to Cracker Barrel, which I believe has been about a year ago, I had, um, I, I don't know what they call it there, but like, a, I guess kind of like a toad in the hole or what do you, what do you call that? Some call it a bird's nest. No, what do you call it? Mama calls it a punch in the hole, but I don't know what they call it there, but it was so good. Delicious, in fact. Thank you, sir. Okay, now I'm going to cut these onions. And I'm getting this a little too close to my self for my likings. But that's All right, this, uh, this, this onion. This onion is great. This knife is great. Okay, all right. Here's how I like to dice my onions, and I hope that you can see this, uh, and you should be able to because, okay, cool. So, I, I should not have taken off the hairy end. I just realized that. Oh, whoops. That's okay. I'm going to go almost all the way through, and usually you would leave the hairy end so that you could have something to hold there and go all the way to there. New knife? Uh, no, just a one I haven't used in a while. But yeah, I shouldn't have cut off the hairy end, but I did. So I went halfway up here, and I'm going to cut like this, but not all the way through. And again, do as I say, not as I do. Don't cut the hairy end off. I just forgot. I'm like, yeah, I'm dicing onions. No problem. And then I did exactly what I do when I slice onions. Psh, whatever. It's fine. It's fine. There's no problem here. And then, so now that I have it sliced this way in half and this way, I'm gonna do this. And that's just gonna dice my onions right up. I'm gonna set this over here. Get that guy out of my way. Um, dropping me some onions. What? I'm making them even with all my other things. Thank you, unpaid intern. Thank you, unpaid intern. Okay. 
And now that we're at this point, I'm gonna slice them like this because I should have left the hair on there and it didn't. But that's okay, you know, such is life. <laughs> chopping me some onions, yes I'm chopping me some onions, I'm not crying, that is you, you're crying, not me, la, 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 la. This works a lot better when you leave a hairy end on it. All right, so just do that. Just do that, just do it. All right, and I'm not gonna use this little center piece because it's a little bit um, of a different color that I, I don't wanna use it, so it's fine, okay. So now I'm just going to do my other half of my onion. It still works. That's right, it does. Okay, I don't think I missed anything. And if I did, I'm so sorry. Um, alternatively, you could just cut it all the way through and just, you know, do what you want. Just do what you want. But this works really well if you don't mess up, like I did. And I'm, you know, only crying a little bit, not because I made a mistake, just because this onion is a bully to my eyes. Um, my friends, I'm so excited. People can now leave reviews on my page. Wow. I'm just, that's amazing to me. I got my first review today and it was by Brie and she's not here now because she had, she was here, but she had to go to the store and that's okay. She's going to try and come back if I'm still here and we love her for that. She left me a review and that's so nice. And I'm going to tell you, if you're going to leave me a review, I appreciate that. But I'm going to tell you what I put on my other post. What mama always said, not my mama, but if you don't have anything nice to say, keep your pie hole closed. No, sh close, shut your trap. Something like that. My mama always said, if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. I think it's really funny when you say, if you don't have anything nice to say, shut your trap. <laughs> That's funnier. Don't you agree, Producer Patrick? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So uh, now that my mom is looking at me like I'm a crazy lady, uh, I mean the um, elder unpaid intern, but don't call her that. Half the time leaves from the stems. All the, all the oh, all the leaves. All right, sure. Well, this stuff is getting in my way, Producer Patrick. That's okay. Last time we put them on a plate, but you know, this time we're just going with the flow of the flow. The flow of the flow. That's what we're doing here. Because why not? If there's a flow, I say go. You know? Or something. Okay. Oh, washing machine's done or dryer or something. I really don't know what it is. Okay. So to take thyme leaves off, usually you could just grab the top of the stem and you can just go like this and... Bada bing! Would you look at that? Now, it didn't work in some at the bottom because those guys uh, were holding on real real good, you know? And they're like, I refuse to be eaten and you can't have me because I'm, I'm not having it. And I'm like, Psh, 
You want to bet? I'm in charge now, bucko. Living my best life. My best life has time in it. Alright. That's how I feel about that. Sometimes time is on your side and sometimes time's working against you. And sometimes maybe both. But whatever. So you just gotta say whatever and move on. <laughs> La 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 Oh man, this one broke. This time is not on my side. That's okay. I made it on my side. I said, hey pal, it's going to be alright. You can trust me. I'm not going to hurt you. And then it yanked off all its little leaves. My eyes burn a little bit. They sting. You know. The harsh sting of life is probably what's getting to my eyeballs right now. I think I forgot to tell you, but I got this here oven over here that we're not talking about. Heated up to 425 degrees. And the reason for that is because after we do some stove cooking, we're going to oven cook. Wow. And this is like a one-pot meal, although I feel... Like, producer Patrick is using two pots, so I could have just fibbed to you right there. And if I did, I'm sorry, that was a freestyle lie, and I didn't mean to. Do you chop the time? Yes. No. Uh, yeah, uh, uh, well. Thank you, Uh, yeah, well, uh, no. Sometimes we mince them a little bit, but in this scenario, I don't know. We're not, we're not going to do it. And I will tell you something. I haven't had this here recipe before. Um, the thyme is delicious, and it is, it just makes it stand out, it just makes the whole dish bloom. Those are chef words right there, making a dish bloom. And that has nothing to do with Orlando Bloom, producer Patrick, don't ask me that again. Last time, he's like, Orlando Bloom? And I said no. And I don't, I mean, I don't even know if he knows who Orlando Bloom is, but... He, he knows. He's, he's, he gave me the eyes like, who do you think I am? Been living under a rock? Like Patrick? <laughs> no, this is Patrick. All right. Producer Patrick and I have a little bit of a funny game that we like to play. And sometimes we just look at each other and we just giggle because we have secrets that we, that we know about. They're not really secrets, but they're just little jokes and little ha-has. And they just make us giggle like the little children that we probably are. Are we little children? Could be. Could be. I think we probably are. I mean, we're, we're little children to some people because we're some people's children, you know? So, isn't that amazing? Just when you age and everyone around you also ages and so I'm, I may be an adult, but I'm still a, a, ch a child is an age as far as that goes to some people. Do you get what I'm saying? Am I confusing you? I'm not trying to. And if you're confused, I'm so sorry. Sorry, not sorry. I'm just kidding. I am sorry. I'm so sorry. My goal in life is not to confuse people. It's to make delicious meals and entertain the masses. All four of you. All four of you masses. Don't worry, I did not call you a name. I, there will be no curses on the show. I said masses. I'm entertaining the masses. This is a family-friendly show, and we don't do curses over here. So, there you go. Hot dog. I'm going to need about the vegetables in a moment. Okay, well, Producer Patrick, I understand that you're in a little bit of a bind, needing some vegetables, but I'm working on the time. Why am I talking like I'm I'm from the South? Uh, you've been doing it. Um, I think because this is a 
This is a home-style meal, right from Grandma's Kitchen at the HelloFresh headquarters in Switzerland. I'm just kidding. But you know, I just said, uh, it's, it's a chicken pot pie. It's like something Grandma would make, although I'm pretty sure that my Grandma never made me a chicken pot pie. Just means that I'm getting older, lol. Oh, just kidding. Uh, no, uh, I'm not, I'm, no, we're, we're, no one's older. Uh, I'm still a baby. Quah! And you're still the same age that you were when I was born. The, just, just a little bit ago. You know, I shouldn't be using a knife. I'm an infant. Did, did that work? Did that make you feel better? Although sometimes, sometimes people say, why are you acting like a little child? And I'm like, I'm not, I'm a grown adult. And don't you call me that again, or I'm telling my mom. Can I get some veggies for me? Producer Patrick, of course you can. Of course you can, my love. I will give you the vegetables. But just give me a momento to finish this one right here. And don't call me... What is it? Don't call me what? Don't call me Shirley. Don't call me Shirley. All right. Well, here you go. Here's the vegetables. You can have them. You can have them. I'll let you have them. I will give them all to you. All of me gives all the vegetables to you. We just love to sing each other little love songs and ditties. Did you also need the garlic right here this very minute? No. Oh, good, because I ain't got around to it yet. I don't need the garlic or the thyme yet. Oh, good. He doesn't need the thyme yet. I lost some viewers. They're like, she's singing. Leave. Don't leave me. I'm very needy, and I need you to stay. I'm just kidding. You can go if you need to, but why would you want to do a thing like that? I don't know why I winked at you. Thank you, sir. You you missed some. Thank you. It's very important to me that we don't have any missing vegetables. Hello, Kendra. I'm so glad that you could be with here with us today. Producer Patrick has some vegetables in a pan and those vegetables consist of uh, carrots and onion and celery and he's taking some time away from me and I'm just picking some time off of this. Peyton, don't eat that. It's an onion. Yes, mom. I mean, yes. Elder unpaid intern. Don't call her that. Don't call her that, okay. Well, you know, I think I don't have to say don't call her that anymore because one time she called herself that. And to me, that's like, all right, I'll do my job of being an elder unpaid intern. And, but she, you know, sharpened my knives earlier, and that's, that's a hard task. So... Clearly, you know, you you gotta you gotta put in some work if you want some food. You know, it's a group effort. And or sometimes when she tries to to put in some work, and I said, no, that's okay, thanks though. That's a free pass because that is that means you got permission to sit this one out. And you know, that's like paid vacation. And when you're an unpaid intern. Uh, you know, you, that's just like, okay, we'll, we'll feed you for free. And even though we're not going to pay you, we're not going to not pay you. Even though we're not going to not pay you. We're not going to not not pay you. Moral of the story is that if you confuse someone enough, you, they just don't know what's going on. And don't worry, friends. She's not here against her will. We didn't confuse her that much. 
She's not confused at all. She knows where she is in Canada. P. Sherman, 42. I mean, no, not P. Sherman. P. Sherman, 42 Wallaby Way, Sydney, Canada, which is northeast of Nova Scotia. And, and she has a car and she has a phone and she's free to leave whenever she wants. Although not right now. We, we're not letting her leave right now. We forbode it. Um, you know, for her own good. She's grounded. She's not really grounded. Well, she is on the, she is grounded because her feet are steadily, steady on the ground. And in that instance, Producer Patrick also is grounded, and I, too, for it, am also grounded. Yeah, those are words, and they mean things, and I meant to say them. Okay, this time is getting on my nerves. That's okay. I love you. You're doing a great job, she said to the time, annoying, annoyed, annoyedly like. No, I'm, I appreciate that, but I'm almost done. Okay, because we're going to need... Okay, and, don't and rush me. Don't pressure me. I'm working as fast as I can. I'm only one person. No, leave me alone. I got it. I got it. I got it. And you're not allowed to come anywhere near over here, so you stop off. Well, I know you're not, but... She's not allowed to come anywhere near over here because she doesn't want to be on the camera. So that's, you know, I'm not just being mean. <coughs> but you run that risk when you come over because producer Patrick has been accidentally spied a few times on the camera. And also, so has the elder unpaid intern, but don't call her that because she just walks behind me. Like, well, that's, you know. There are two entryways, this here and that there, and you can see both of them. So that's not my problem, that you ran that risk and just psh, made yourself seen. So anyways. So anyways. I'm working on it, Kendra. I haven't, uh, have not drank all my water yet, but I am working on it, and also I haven't had enough, but it's okay, because I'm still a good person, and I'm working on it. Uh, but no, I need to drink a lot more. But I'm not done yet, the day is not over. Uh, and also, no, I have, no, I just know I haven't. How much time do you put in the dish? Well, it takes as long as it takes. I'm just kidding. Um, how much time was that? Did it say? Seven grams, this says. And this is for four servings. So if we were making the two servings, we would have half that. You know, because that's how recipes work. But you already knew that. You're smart. You're smart, Cookie. not really a cookie producer Patrick I know you love cookies I don't want you to feel like you could hunt someone down and bite them we had to talk with him about that last time and he's real sorry aren't you mm -hmm. okay well you we're gonna have to put you in a corner sir think about what you've done Y'all, producer Patrick got to work from home today, and that was real special to me because 
I love it when he's here at home. It makes me so happy. When skies are gray. Me? Okay. And the skies have been gray. Did you see that, Producer Patrick? Over here. La, 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 la. Am I going to be able to back up for the oven part? Yeah. Okay, cool. <coughs> okay. Patrick, I would like to sometime soon go to Cracker Barrel. That sounds delicious. Okay, I'm done. I quit. I mean, I quit with that. I'm done. There's still a few little leaves left, and that's okay. I don't care anymore. I'm over it. Which is how I feel every time I have time. Every, every time. <laughs> Over it. Okay. And then we're going to mince this garlic. Peel and mince your garlic. So you're going to put your garlic on your cutting board flat. And take your knife and take the sharp side and put it away from you. Set it down and with the palm of your hand, you're gonna palm heel strike the flat side. Cool. And then what that's gonna do is release it from its little coat. It has a jacket to keep it nice and warm and protected. And we don't want it to be in its jacket because we don't like that part. It's not delicious. And you don't necessarily have to do this, but I like to cut off the little woody ends of it because I don't know, I just like to. I may not have hit that one hard enough, but we shall see. I did all right. You know, when I was younger, I don't think I was a huge fan of chicken pot pie. But I'm telling you, I've come a long way in my life, and it's good. I have my garlic mincer here. I don't know. Will both of you fit? No. Let's not risk it. And I'm just gonna... Oh, hey, settle down. That's fine. I'm gonna put one garlic in there in the little opening. And I'm just gonna squeeze it right out there. Wow. Then I'm gonna take the other garlic and put it right in there. And I'm gonna it right on out. Producer Patrick, isn't that so much faster than mincing it? Wow. And then any little bits in here, I just throw away. Because there's usually like a, a layer of... Okay. Producer Patrick is taking my garlic and my thyme. I don't know why, I just made it up face. Please forgive me. I'm gonna clean up the mess that I've done and made on the counter. I'm just gonna push it right into the trash pile. Okay, I need four tablespoons of butter. Yes, and I'm not done with the cutting board because I'm gonna need to cut the biscuits. So I'm gonna get four tablespoons of butter for producer Patrick, four all at once or two and two? Uh, four all at once right now. Four all at once, all right. But I need a cutting board to cut it on and a knife. Can't cut butter without a knife. It out. It didn't work. Thank you. He's ready to eat. He is. He's like feeding me. We'll need one tablespoon of butter after that. So a total of five. Yeah. 
Wow. And if you don't like butter, then this ain't for you. Can you cut the four and a half also? So two and two and one. Yeah, that's just so it melts faster. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Butter. Delicious. He is ready to eat. So ready. He's just like, give me the food. And I'm like, no. Okay, so this is one separate tablespoon. I'm gonna set it aside. And these, I could have very well just went ahead and opened before I cut them in half, but whatever, it's fine. I like to make my life a little bit more difficult because that's fun. You ready for the butter now? Mm -hmm. Oh, there's four tablespoons? Mm -hmm. Cool. There's two and two. I'm going to open up these here biscuits that I got. And they scare me sometimes, but that's okay. I'm going to catch up on my recipe to where producer Patrick is. You're about to need the cream cheese, huh? Uh, flour is next. Oh. Cream cheese. He needs some flowers. I already got flour though. He already has the flour. And when I say flowers, I mean the four packets of flour. There's no flowers in this. Okay. What are they, each one tablespoon? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Four tablespoons of flour. He has some flour. I'm going to open up the cream cheese. That's my lovely elevator music. You're welcome. Okay. <clears throat> and I was going to say, I'm going to take my phone and turn down the AC a little bit. But guess what? You're on my phone. You're playing on my phone. I can't I can't do it right now. That's okay. That's okay. I usually turn down the AC a little bit when we cook because it gets hot in the kitchen and I sit next to the oven. But that's okay. Because if you can't handle the heat, get out of the kitchen. I can handle the heat. It's just a little warm. So you can leave these whole, I mean you have to take them out of the can, but you can leave them whole when you place them on top, but what we like to do is to cut them. Okay, this always scares me. I'm just going to move this here knife for safekeeping. I made it. I have your cream cheese right here. Okay. And this one. She don't want to open. Oh, I didn't. Peel it off enough. Just push it. I'm scared. Push it where? <laughs> no, never again. I don't like it. Yeah, Pal was right. I don't like it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to cut these biscuits in quarters. Quarter the biscuits. Quarter. 
one, two, three, four. Quartz of them. Alright, and like I said, you can leave these whole, but I'm not gonna. So, I'm gonna set these right here for producer Patrick and move the butter right over there. And we just make little biscuit triangles. How precious. I'm just kidding. Don't eat that. It's raw dough. It's not delicious. I don't know. Could be. I never tried it. What did we add to the, uh, the filling? Oh, we added um, heavy cream and chicken broth, which we don't have chicken broth, but we do have heavy cream. But it also says you could just add water. The elder unpaid intern... <clears throat> is a saucy lady and she likes to have extra juice in her pot pie and if that's the case that's okay you can also do that you can add water you can add chicken stock you could add heavy cream last time we added both cream and chicken stock would you like the cream producer Patrick because the other unpaid intern if you say no is gonna say do it and to that I say it was really good last time so we're gonna do it Midge, could you reveal your secrets to me, please? Thanks, Midge. Yep, we're good. How much should I add? Uh, I don't know. She added just a whole lot. <laughs> add it till it feels right. I have no idea how much she added. I wouldn't, you know, go overboard. But... <laughs> But just remember, we're not making a soup. Producer Patrick is making a soup. Just kidding. He's not. Okay. He says that's about the color he remembers it being. So there you go. Feels right. La, 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 la. Three, Sir, I did. You're welcome. Anything for you, my love? Not anything, but anything that's legal. I mean, I love you, but I'm not a jail person. I can't make it there. That took a turn. I'm sorry. <laughs> But you know that's true, don't you? Yes. Yes, he agrees. Midge also revealed another secret to me. I'm not having that. No, I need water. Okay. <clears throat> so we have our biscuits. I, th I think I'm now finished with this, sir. Okay. Thank you, sir. We have biscuits. We have butter. We have all the things. Would you like a bite of biscuit? Coffee tonight, lol. No. I need to drink my water, Kendra. I need water. I'm going to eat this, this bite of biscuit dough. If I eat this, am I going to be okay? It's very small. I just want to taste it. Oh, you know what? I think that has like... I think it has little lumps of like lard or something in it because it ain't butter. I thought it was butter. I don't recommend that. The biscuits themselves are good. Now you tell me butter would be yellow whoops but the biscuit dough was yummy and if you pick out all the little lumps of they weren't flavored it, it, it wasn't like ew that tastes like I, I don't know wax tastes like wax it's on my tongue it does 
It has lard in it. Well, thanks. The biscuit dough was really good, though. So, don't eat that, though. You're not supposed to eat raw dough. I do what I want. What can I say? I break rules. I'm a rebel. Um, Kendra, if I do have a coffee tonight, it will be this one. But I don't plan on having one. But I know I, I'm pretty sure I told you this the other day, but because there are some other people on, I'm gonna tell you this though. I've been having my coffee with my white mocha sauce and coffee, and instead of putting regular soy milk in it, I've been putting chocolate soy milk in it. It also has protein in it, so it fills me up a bit, which I like. So it's been very good. So very delicious, in fact. Brittany, what are you having for dinner? Are you having a chicken pot pie without the pie part? Because it's biscuits? Just kidding. I know that's not what you're having. And then it also would not be chicken pot pie. It would be some sort of stew or something. I don't know. Who's stew? Huh? Producer Patrick is adding the chicken to the vegetables and whatnot. And what he's going to do is he's going to... Oh, I need to microwave this, Producer Patrick. Do we have a small bowl? Thank you, sir. We're going to microwave the one tablespoon of butter. It had a little piece of onion stuck to it, and I got it off. We don't want to microwave butter with one on onion. You can, but we're not doing that. Not today, friends. Not today. What are you having? Do you know? <clears throat> I say it's going to take Dave about 15 seconds. I ate my meal for lunch, so I'll probably have a protein bar. Oh, okay. Dave is very efficient with melting butter, so I think after about 15 seconds, she'll be done. Maybe not even that long. It's been 10, and wow, I hear it. Oh, 15. Wow, would you look at that? It's mostly melted. I'm just going to do a few more seconds because I also don't feel like... Boring, lol. Yes, Brittany, your meal will be boring. Tracy, egg roll in a bowl sounds really good. I don't know why I grabbed this like it was going to be scorching hot after it's been in the microwave. Not even 20 seconds. Maybe 20 seconds. I don't know. I didn't just math that. Okay. I melted that butter. And then... Remove biscuits from package. I did that. Peel apart each biscuit at the center to create two thinner ones. Um, you know what I didn't do was that. You didn't do that last time, that's fine. Oh, never mind. It says for a crispier topping, cut the biscuits into quarters instead of peeling them apart. That's what I did. Duh. Okay. Um, here you go. I'm just going to give you this and let you do it over there because... Okay. Because remember last time I said, don't just plop them on. And that's exactly what you did. Plopped them right on there. Um, Tracy, are you making the egg roll in a bowl? Or did you get that from somewhere? Because if you can get that from somewhere, I'm going to need to know where. Because that sounds real good. Um, yep. We're going to, and then brush with melted butter, which is right here. We melted the butter. Brush it right on there. I made it. Oh, nice. Nice. I like that. I'm gonna have to look into egg roll in a bowl. That sounds good. Doesn't that sound good, Producer Patrick? Yep. Egg roll in a bowl. And it kind of rhymes. Egg roll in a bowl. Roll bowl. It's not perfect, but it's might as well be. 
roll bowl. I, I think that rhymes. Egg roll in a bowl. Egg roll in a bowl. Egg roll in a bowl. I'm sorry, I'm done. Listen, what I say in my head is none of your business, Producer Patrick. It's super easy to make. Nice. I love easy. That's my favorite. Did you seriously just eat that onion? Oh, my phone's dying. Hold on. Okay. <clears throat> That's okay. We still have 20% battery. We're going to make it. In Jesus' name. Lord, let us make it. We're going to make it. It'll be fine. Okay. Oh, I don't need that anymore. Okay. I need to brush the top, so I need this gone. Thank you, sir. Okay. Producer Patrick is going to set this right in front of me. I love it when he sets delicious food in front of me. I love it even more when it's cooked, but it's fine. It looks so good, except for the raw dough, but that's okay. We're going to bake it. Mm. All right. So I have, oh, I need the, I need the brush. No, I can't move this. I need the brush. Um, I'm going to brush this with the melted butter. Thank you. And our fancy little brush. Okay. La, 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 la. It's very important that you brush each and every one because you don't want any of them to feel left out. Give them a good brushing. A good bath of butter, a butter bath, a better butter bath. Um, wow, I'm excited. And last time I was talking about how delicious these were gonna be as leftovers. <laughs> there wasn't any leftovers, no, there wasn't. And you know what? You know, we're not even upset about that. Listen, this is four servings and there's three of us here, so. We just had a little extra. Because it was so good. Wasn't it good, Producer Patrick? Yes. Tasty. And I saw this pop up again, and I said, yep, we're making that one. That's the one. Okay. So I have brushed every single last one of these sweet little baby biscuit bites with some butter. And there's a little bit left in there. Just, you know. I don't know. Do what you gotta do. Okay. Producer Patrick, I'm finished with this. And then we are going to sprinkle with what? Oh, never mind. What'd you say? Oh, you're, you're doing the step ups. I'm gonna sprinkle it with my reserved thyme, which is a teaspoon. Not gonna lie, I put a little extra right there. Hello, friends of right. Did I go crazy a little bit right there? Certainly did. And now we're having to do some adjusting, okay. It's fine. That's just gonna be a really tiny bite. We'll mix it up. <laughs> oh dear. Oh da da dear. That's okay, all right. Found a little bit of a twiglet here, so we're gonna use that. I mean, not the twiglet, the leaves, the tap leaves. They're sticking to my fingers. Um, and tomorrow we are doing, was it meatloaf, Producer Patrick? Yes. Tomorrow we're making meatloaf. It's called Meatloaf a la Mom. Which is, I don't know whose mom, because my mom doesn't make it like this, but that's okay. Every mom's different. Uh, but it has a gravy on it, and producer Patrick loves gravy, so he's excited. In fact, his favorite meal is anything that has gravy on it. Maybe some Tony's, but definitely gravy. Okay. I did the best I could because I went a little time heavy in this vicinity over here. Time to put it in the oven. <laughs> How did it, all these twiglets get over here? No. 
Not today, devil. All right, that's fine. We got this. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's fine. Don't worry about it. And if it tastes bad, just pack it up and go to Cracker Barrel. It's not going to taste bad because I've had it before and I know. It's delicious. Okay. So I'm going to put this in the oven and we're gonna bake it till the biscuits are golden brown. And so that's gonna be about 12 to 15 minutes on the top rack. And it won't fit in the top rack. So it's going in the middle. Great. Hey, Charlene. How are you? Thank you. I'm glad that you feel like it looks good so far, Kendra. And my friends, I know that we're almost done. And we're just waiting for our food to come right out of the oven. Hey, Cheryl, welcome. But if you would like your friends to experience a delicious meal, go ahead and hit that share button right down there so that they can see when it comes out of the oven. And maybe they'll have a good laugh with us in the meantime. Cause we're hoot, we're a, we're all a hoot around here, a hoot and a half. Producer Pedro just hooted. You didn't hear him because I was talking, because that's what I do. And I would say that it's a never-ending thing, but I I am quiet occasionally when I'm sitting there minding my own business, which I I frequently I do mind my own business all the time, because it's not nice when you're minding someone else's business. Sometimes I mind producer Patrick's business because his business is my business. And you know why that is? That's because we're married. And when two people are married and they become one, they have they combine their businesses. And so my business is his business and his business is my business. And also, sometimes we say the same thing at the same time because we've been together for a very long time. Uh, well... I don't know. What do you think, producer Patrick? Possibles? Okay, great. Um, like the other day, I don't know what we were doing. Okay. But sometimes we both say, no, this is Patrick. <laughs> That's, it's because we, you weren't there. It's fine. You had to be there. But anyways, um, sometimes we say things at the same time or one of us says something and the other one was like, I was just about to say that or I was thinking that because we share a brain. So if he's ever sick and can't do his job, I'm like, no problem, sir. I'll take over because um, I got your engineering brain. As soon as we got married, I just learned everything he knew. That's a freestyle lie. I just told. I'm so sorry. I don't know diddly squat about being an engineer, and I apologize for saying that I do, because I don't. But I know diddly squat about a lot of other things. That sounded like I don't know anything about a lot of other things, because diddly squat is like nothing. I do know diddly squat about a lot of other things, but I also do know things about other things. And I'm just going to stop talking. I'm doing better. I've been sick with shingles. <gasps> Sister Charlene, say it isn't so, because let me tell you something. My mama had that, and... Well, we thought she was going to die. That's not true. But I think she thought she was going to die for a little bit. But she ended up in the hospital. And that's her business. So I'm not going to tell it all. But I'll tell you that. And that's before we even knew she had shingles. And it was on the inside. So there was no outer signs of it. But goodness, that sounds horrible. Huh? That's what she has? Yeah, girl. You're not reading the comments? She got shingles. I'm so sorry that you got the shingles. Let me tell you something, friends. If you've had the chicken pox, you can get the shingles. That's how that happens. I'm told. But I know a lot about a lot, and I say that's how that happens. Because that's what I'm told. Anyways. Well, go go golly gosh darn, Sister Charlene, you're going to be in our prayers for sure. And I know that you're going to get better, and I miss you so much. And I didn't see you at church because you had the shingles, and we weren't there either. Because we had to stay home. But that's okay. There was producer Patrick. So if you're counting how many times you've seen him, add that one up. Because that's one of the times. Anyways, my chair is creaking. 
All right, y'all, I'm going to stop that because she does a good job holding me up, but one day she's going to say, I'm done here. Okay, thank you. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. And that's okay that you didn't get a gold star because I didn't get a gold star either. I didn't get one, and that's okay. But, you know, sometimes we have to, to take care of ourselves, and that's what we have to do, and that's important. You get some rest, and you feel better, and, you know, just 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 take care of you because you're very important to me and a lot of other people but mostly to me I care about you the most I love you more than anyone else I'm sorry I'll settle down Jesus loves you the most but I'm right up there I love you so much and I want you to feel better and get better because you mean so much to me my friend and I love you so much and I love each and every one of you watching this right now because you know why because you're here and I appreciate that you're here. And I mean that from the bottom of my heart. From the very bottom of my heart. You don't have to be here, but you are. And I thank you. It means the world to me. And anyone who watches this later, the replay, you know, you're taking the time out of your day to watch me. And that means so much to me, my friends. You just don't even know. And even if I never met you, thank you. I consider everyone a friend, so you're my friend. We can all be friends. And I would just like to take this time. Thank you. I'm glad you love me, too. And I would just like to take this time to tell you all that sometimes in the world, people are not so nice. And you know what? That's probably because they're having a hard time. So the best thing that you could do is just shine your light for them. Because they don't have a light. And if they do, it's not on at the moment. So just be a light for them and help them see where they're going. I'm glad you love watching my show. Thank you. And I know I said this earlier, friends, but now you can leave reviews on my show. And you don't have to. It's not required. But I think it's really cool that now they're like, hey, people have watched your show. You could have them leave a review if you want. And I'm like, wow, we love you more. And you bring us great laughter. I love your, I love your lives. Thank you, Kendra. Thank you. Amen. Oh, thank you. Yes. You've been a light for me. Oh, I'm so glad. That means a lot to me, Jackie. You don't, You have no idea. Sometimes I get a bit goofy, but for real, I just enjoy having this time to talk to people, and I just really love it. And also, I just try to be a light for everyone because life is not easy, friends. It's not easy at all. Thank you. You're welcome. And thank you. And I know I'm welcome. Life is not easy, friends. And... Some days are easier than others, but every day is a challenge. But you know what? I say, God woke me up this morning, and he gave me the ability to get myself out of bed. And so I'm just going to keep on keeping on and doing what I got to do. And Kendra, I've been meaning to tell you, my mom has been working on her, her salsa, and she might just have a hot sauce that's not too hot for us people who don't like hot. So she made some jars, and I'm going to try it, and I'm going to let you know. Uh, if it's about, you know, like pace, and I'm get, I'm going to get with you. And I've been nervous to try it because I'm scared of spicy. But that's okay. I'm going to be brave for you. Because no one else in this house can determine if something's too spicy. Because they like spicy food. Because something's wrong with them. I'm just kidding. Nothing's wrong with them. They're perfect. They're, they're perfectly imperfect. Oh, yes. Thank you so much. Yes, ma'am. And I'll send you a message in the next few days. We have a, a bit of stuff going on right now. So I'm going to have to wait a few days before I message you. But I will message you because we have it. <clears throat> Anyways. But, yeah. So, you know, you just got to wake up every day and be grateful for what you got. And even if it's not a lot, well, you got a lot to live for. Anyways, and you got people that love you. You know how I know? Because I love you. Every one of you. Please don't have an asthma attack right there in front of the food. I'm talking to the dog. She just can't breathe sometimes. She'll be all right. She's a real trooper. But anyways, so yes, it's good to be a light for others. Anyways. And you know what? Also, it's free. It's free to be nice to people. It costs you nothing. So sometimes you see someone that doesn't have a smile, and you can give them one of yours. 
that doesn't cost anything. And if someone has a mask on and they can't see your smile, then you just smile with your eyes. Because even if my face was covered, you can see my smile. It also helps that I got some bigger cheeks and my glasses pushes them up. But you could tell, see? Anyways, smile with your eyes. As Tyra Banks says, smiles. I know, girl. I know. And I haven't forgotten. And I've been feeling really bad that I haven't got with you on that yet. But let me tell you something. There's just been a hot mess over here. And that's not true. It hasn't been a hot mess. It's just been one thing after another. But also, and yeah, I, you know what? I still didn't even get to finish my Easter wreath. And I started it the night before Easter. And I was working on it. But I didn't get to finish it. So. But yes, I'm going to get with you. I'm going to get my life together and I'm going to get with you. I promise. I promise. Hey, Pam. How was your birthday? You had a birthday a few days ago, if I'm not mistaken. I hope it was good. So anyways, we're just waiting for the food. It's almost done. Four and a half minutes. And let me tell you, friends, it smells delicious. And I wish that I could waft it over your way because, wow, it smells so good. Sister Charlene, do you need anything? Well, I'm going to have to text you soon, actually. I'll have to tell you what's going on over here. It's just been so much. And Mama's going to be having her surgery soon. She's going to be getting better. We're so happy. Hi, Emily. Hi, Pam. Thank you for joining us. We're waiting on the food in the oven. Producer Patrick is sitting in the living room, probably watching YouTube. No, I'm feeling so much better. Oh, I'm glad. I'm so glad. Yes, it was a good birthday. I'm glad. I'm very glad it was a good birthday. Birthdays are very important to me. Some people say, it's just another day. And to that I say, Psh, no, it's not. Birthdays to me are very important. Because it's the day that your loved ones get to celebrate that they have you in their lives. And I think that's a very important thing to do. Because every day is just another day. Today, to some people, they're like, oh, it's just a Thursday. But I happen to know three people that have a birthday today. And I want them to have a great day. And I hope that they get celebrated today. Because that's your one day where your family comes together and says, hey, we love you. And they don't have to buy you anything. Or, or, or they do. That's up to you. I don't know. But for me, my family, they don't have to buy me anything. They don't have to, to get me... Um, a card or anything like that. I don't care. I just like to know that I have time that I could spend with my family. And I think that birthdays are very important. Very important. V importante. That was a little Spanish for you, friend. Importante. Importante means important. And if something is muy importante, it's very important. Don't mind the noise. The unpaid intern is doing something. I don't know. And she dropped her cane. You okay? You need help? She's got it. She drops her cane mm, ten times a day. That's not true. But every day. Well, not ten times. But probably five, at least. It's not a day unless her cane has hit the floor and the dog has run away from it as fast as she can. She's a skittish little critter. Come here, Peyton. Come here. I'll show you her. She has her sweater on today. She got a haircut. Birthdays are important. I love celebrating my family. I love that, Tracy. Come here, Peyton. I love that because you know what? You're so right. Come here. The people haven't seen our mascot lately. She had a haircut. She was looking a little bit homeless. But she has a home, and it's here, and we love her. Oh, no. My phone is dying. Oh, no. Okay. Oh, sorry, sorry. See, she's very skittish. 
She's like, a noise, not a noise. She has her sweater on because she's very cold. And she doesn't like to look at the camera because she's afraid it's going to steal her soul or something. I have no idea. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad you love the haircut. Yes, she's the reason why uh, I think it was last Thursday that we did not get to uh, cook because she was not feeling well. Her tummy was hurting and she had some incidents. So we had to clean that up and then we had to clean her up. And that was... It took time, it took hours. And then she got a nice little haircut and thankfully the elder unpaid intern just took right care of her haircut. And now she just feels so much better, but she's cold because she has like no hair. I mean, she's got hair, but it's very short, very short, but she's very soft. Food is ready. Okay, I have to put you down now. Hold on. Producer Patrick, the food is done. Yay. Okay. And I was about to make a huge mistake right here on live television. It's not television. Right here on live Facebook. I was about to just open the oven and grab the food by the handle because the handle wasn't hot when I put it in the oven because it was on the stove. But let me tell you a secret. That handle's going to be scorching hot right now because it's about 425 degrees in there. Are you coming? Okay, because I need your help. Okay, so I'm gonna, I know, I know, wow, it's hot in there. Don't get in the oven, that's not safe. That's not a good place for you to be. Did you see his beard? I know, I'm coming. Okay, all right, we're gonna, Put the McGrippy pad one on the bottom and hot dog. Here we go. I'm so excited. Don't touch that producer, Patrick. You almost did. I almost saw it happen. Oh, I'm stuck. Okay. My chair was stuck on the tile. Y'all, this is bubbly and delicious. Okay. <sighs> I'm so excited. Okay. I know that you can't smell this, but just imagine. It smells so good. It's like a pot pie with rosemary, because that's exactly what it is. Where'd you go? Oh, okay. All right. <clears throat> so. La, 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 la. <laughs> I'm just going to scoop out some portions. Oh, did you see that? Steam. Steamy and delicious. Wow. I wish that I could just share this with each and every one of you. And if I could, I would, because you have no idea how good it is. I don't think she went back for seconds last time. Did she? I don't know. We'll leave some, though. This is tasty. Wow. My, oh my. Yes, looks great, looks good, looks good, looks yummy, looks very good. Mm -hmm. All of you are correct. And I know, because I done had this before. I done had it. I need, actually, I should have put more in hers. This looks a little different. It's not. You want more? Let me put more in yours, Mom. Yeah, but I'll do it. Okay, fine. I think I will need some liquid in mine. Do you, uh, there's plenty of liquid. Y'all, she just don't know. Plenty of liquid. Well, it does look a little different because Patrick had to use all cream this time instead of cream and chicken stock. So, it's a little more, like, it's a little lighter in color. No, it, it just, it's still delicious. Okay, well, 
That's fine. Just wait. Delicious. Everyone online thinks it looks good. Is that enough? I want this particular biscuit right here. All right. <clears throat> should have taken a picture of it as soon as it came out of the oven y'all I should have done that but I didn't what are you waiting for I wait for you to get through so I'm getting some um, well okay but you're you're gonna have to I know okay. I'm just need you to hurry uh, okay thank you for joining my live unpaid intern thank you appreciate it I'm giving her a smile all right um it's very good okay I'm sorry, friends. Give me just a second. I'm trying to get something repositioned. Okay. Okay. Here is this delicious food. The chicken pot pie. And now I'm going to taste it. Is this my spoon, Patrick, that you said on this napkin? Okay. Thank you. Okay. Mm. That is so good. My friends, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for watching me cut stuff. <laughs> Um, tomorrow we're cooking. We're making meatloaf. We'll be back at 540. <clears throat> and, um, I hope to see you there. It's going to be so yummy. I just know the picture looks good. Thank you for being here with me. And thank you so much for shining your light, my friends. I hope that you have a blessed day tomorrow. A blessed evening tonight. And I hope you have a good dinner, because that's important. Anyways, friends, I wish you well. Drink your water. Bye.